There aren't many parties in the history of Gibraltar that can say that they've been around for 40 years, that they've changed Gibraltar for the better, like the Gibraltar Socialist Labour Party has. I'm 44 years old. This party has been around since I was four years old, and Gibraltar has been completely transformed. That's why it's such an honour and a complete privilege for me to be the leader of the party today and to continue the work that the party is doing, changing Gibraltar for the better. It's been a challenging year for all of Gibraltar, a challenging year for Europe and a challenging year for the United Kingdom. What Gibraltar must do now is ensure that together, united, we navigate these difficult Brexit waters in a way that delivers the best possible deal for Gibraltar. I've seen some people who are more interested in being cheerleaders for Gibraltar's failure than being part of the team that will deliver for Gibraltar a good deal in the context of Brexit and everything else that we have to, we have to deal with. But I'm sure that the team I lead, that the team that's in government, can bring to Gibraltar the best possible deal for the future in the context of Brexit, in the context of every uh, challenge that we are facing. That's what leading Gibraltar is about and that's why 2016 is a challenge but I hope that by 2017-2018 the principles that underlie the Gibraltar Socialist Labour Party and the work that we do in government will ensure that Gibraltar is just as strong as ever. It's not often that you get a serving Prime Minister come to Gibraltar. Uh, David Cameron demonstrated he was a very good friend of the people of Gibraltar, a very good friend of the rock and it staying British. And bringing him to Gibraltar was, I think, one of the greatest achievements that uh, Joseph Garcia and I have delivered in the context of, uh, of the past five years in government. It's a pity that the circumstances of the day led to him not being able to deliver what I know would have been a very, very rousing speech. But I think he'll be back. He'll be back one day to, to tell us what he thought at the time uh, were the things that he needed to say here. And I think we've seen in Theresa May also a great supporter uh, ascending to the Prime Ministership in Downing Street. Gibraltar's got the best possible future ahead of it. Our best years are not behind us. Gibraltar's best years are ahead of us. Just look at the young people that Gibraltar is producing. I look at the young people we have in the GSLP. They're so much more savvy, so much politically aware than I was at their age. I can see that this community is going places. I'm fulfilling my role now. My generation is leading this community today, but I can see that the future of Gibraltar is brighter and brighter as future generations are going to have the opportunity of taking over. My job is to make sure that Brexit doesn't in any way delay that. Brexit and other events that we've seen around the world, like the election of Donald Trump, which some people have felt uh, negative about, those aren't the fault, the, the fault of young people. Those are the fault of my generation that have allowed those things to happen in other countries. What I have to do is ensure that we navigate these waters in a way that delivers the best possible opportunities for those who are going to take Gibraltar even further in the future. Well, I think it's the, the principles underlying the foundation of the party and the work that the founders did in the 1970s when the party was created. They understood those socialist principles that really were the engine behind the progress that Gibraltar has made since then. If you look at the way that they saw where Gibraltar needed to go and how those socialist principles would underlie all of that, that's as relevant today as it was in the 1970s, although those principles might manifest themselves in a slightly different way, but it's the core of what the party is, and that's why we've been successful over such a long period of time.